I have a new option in my Olidom tool, the extra option here, extra, allows you to add extra information about uh, the streams found in the Olive files by specifying yourself via variables what information you want like MD5 but also SHA-1, SHA-256, Entropy and a lot more uh, data. And I also plan to use uh, this extra option to integrate this in my different uh, dump tools. So let's have a look here how it looks uh, in OliDump. So when I run OliDump on uh, this spreadsheet here, I have uh, an overview of the streams. And now I can say extra. I want to see the MD5 hash. So the variable for uh, MD5 hashes is percent MD5 percent. And when you do this, the MD5 hash for the content of each stream will be appended at the end of uh, the, the line for that stream. Now the variables that you can use, you can find them in the man page. Let's do only dump man and pipe this and now search for uh, MD5, percent MD5. Okay, and here you have uh, all uh, the variables. So you have the index uh, of the stream, you have the micro indicator, the length of the stream, the name of the stream, and then you have the MD5 hash the SHA-1 hash, the SHA-256 hash, the entropy, the head of the, bio, the, file, the stream in hexadecimal, so uh, to see the 21st bytes in hexadecimal, to see the 21st bytes in ASCII is head ASCII. Tail does the same as head, but for the last 20 bytes. And then you can also have a histogram and a bytes test. So in my example here, I used MD5, but I can add uh, more than one. For example, SHA-256, like this. And then uh, I have the two hashes following the info line. I can add text, like this, MD5. Uh, 256 like this and then you can see here in the output MD5 with MD5 value and SHA-256 with the SHA-256 uh, value. I support two escape uh, characters that's uh, the new line and the tab. So let's add a new line here. And a new line here, like this. And then you have each line, and then a new line here with MD5 and with uh, 256. It uh, makes it uh, probably a bit more uh, readable. Now let's go back here to this one. Okay, so here the information is appended to the line. Now, if you precede, if you start the parameter that you pass to extra, so the string with an exclamation mark here, then it will replace the complete output file like this. So you just have the MD5 and the SHA-256 and uh, nothing more. Of course, now this is not that uh, informational because you don't see what uh, index we are talking about. So that is something you can add. So let me simplify this by just showing the MD5 and here the index of the stream, like this. And you can also add the name at the end, like this. So this gives you more flexibility 
for people uh, who ask me to uh, add some extra information. Uh, now you can choose yourself what extra information you want and also uh, in what order and uh, how you want to see it. Now, if you want to always have that extra parameter in your uh, OLE dump uh, runs, so when you execute OLE dump, you can uh, define an environment variable, OLE dump underscore extra. And uh, when that OLE dump extra environment variable is defined, and uh, it must have the same syntax as the parameter to the extra, then this will be used to produce the output. So, so let's uh, do this. OLE dump extra equals percent md5 percent and now when i run only dump without any parameter you will see that the md5 hash uh, is appended so this allows you to change the output of uh, only dump as you wish um, and also to have this always when you run only dump when you have a variable, the OLEDump extra variable defined, and you also use the parameter, then uh, the, I mean, the option, then the option takes precedence. So here I will ask for the SHA-1, and you see that I have the SHA-1, but not uh, the MD5. While if I call it again, Without any parameters, I have the MD5 because that is what is defined in the variable.